And here in Arizona today, the state plans to rededicate its monument for World War I military vets. Yeah, Carla is live at Wesley Bullen Memorial Plaza. And Carla texted me to tell me 10,000 Arizonans were in World War I. Is that right, Carla? That is correct, 10,000 Arizonans and about 9 million served in World War I. And as you mentioned, today is a very special day out here at the state capitol at Wesley Bolin Plaza as this World War I memorial, which uh, came about in November 11th, 1969. So that's exactly 49 years ago that this was erected and it was in need of some TLC, of some uh, new emblems and new plaques that needed to be placed because some of them had been vandalized out here at the memorial. Now there are two new plaques that will uh, be erected here next to the centerpiece that is already here and those plaques are being displayed this morning at 11 o'clock though. That is when the uh, ceremony will take effect and we did speak with Mr. Lucier. He is a three-time war veteran and he is going to be the master of ceremonies for today's dedication ceremony. We spoke with him specifically about World War I veterans and how important it is to honor Honor them. Here is a little bit about what he had to say about our World War I veterans. Well, uh, in fact, uh, remembering and honoring go hand in hand. Uh, we have no more World War I veterans. Um, I, I'm a Vietnam veteran and our, our memorial is over there and there still seems like plenty of us. But uh, remembering is honoring. And so since there are no more World War I veterans, it's up to us. It's incumbent upon uh, you know, later generations of veterans to remember those that went before us. And we do, when we do that, we honor them. Yeah, and today's event starts at 11 o'clock this morning here at 17th Avenue, Washington, just east of the state capitol. We are expecting dignitaries, veterans, and of course, members of the community to come out and remember those who we have lost and honor and pay our respects. So again, this is happening this morning at 11 o'clock here at the state capitol, Wesley Bowen Plaza. 11 o'clock this morning. Back to you ladies in the studio. So if you don't have plans, you know where to go. It's so powerful and a great way to uh, teach your kids, as Carla is always reminding us, a great way to bring the children in and tell them about our past.